As a 300-pound offensive lineman, John Urschel often relies on brute strength. But this Baltimore Raven with the big body also has a beautiful mind. He's pursuing his doctorate at MIT, so if he can't beat an opponent physically, he'll likely devise a way to get the job done. How are you guys doing? Good? What's up? What made you interested in math? I like solving puzzles, and math is like this strange thing where I get to solve two types of puzzles. The one type of puzzle is a puzzle just to solve a puzzle. And this is called theoretical math. But then there's this other type of puzzle, which is called applied math, which is like you trying to solve a puzzle, and after you solve it, this helps the world. Where did football come from if you're so interested in math? Good question. When I was in high school, I wanted to try out playing football. I started playing in the ninth grade, and I just fell in love with the sport, the aggressiveness, the aggressive nature of it. An all Big Ten lineman at Penn State, John Urschel was drafted by Baltimore in 2014 and has used his mind and his might to play multiple positions on the offensive line for the Ravens. The fact that I didn't have anyone telling me, you can't do this or you can't do that. You get on the football field, they're excited when you're running around hitting people and making plays, and that's just something that I just loved. It spoke to like this, this other side of me. I love math because if you ask yourself what language describes the world we live in in a quantitative way, the only answer is mathematics. I'm at MIT right now for my PhD in applied and theoretical math. Urschel graduated with a 4.0 from Penn State and has maintained that GPA at the nation's top graduate school in mathematics. This is something I do at MIT. Since he can only attend classes in the off season, it will take Urschel another three years to complete his doctorate. The thing I'm most proud of is my theorem. Alex. Me and my math mentor, Ludmil Zikatanov, we wrote a paper together proving some things about spectral bisections. I just wanted to check with you with that. Yeah, no, no, that looks right. And the American Math Society decided to write about us, and they actually called it the Urschel Zikatanov theorem. It's pretty cool to have a theorem named after you. While understanding his theorem may take an advanced degree, Urschel also takes his mathematic approach to a more familiar field. Math certainly defines football in that football is a game of numbers, and this is governed by math. The physics going on, the forces, the momentums, the passes, the kicks, the catches. This is all mathematics. What other questions you got for me? What do you do with that math skill and how do you fit that into your football? Every football play is just like a math formula in a way. I have a certain assignment, but my assignment changes based off the variables of the defense. I see what the defense looks like before the snap. At the snap, maybe the defense does something I've never seen before. My quantitative thinking is what helps me see what they do and immediately know what I'm supposed to do. Flacco with the shotgun takes the snap. Patriots rush five. Flacco throws in the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown number two for the Ravens. I think the biggest similarity is intuition. In mathematics, intuition can be a really strong thing that can help you. In football, you need good instincts about being able to make split-second decisions and making sure it's the right one. And the story of the game so far has been the protection of this offensive line. James Hurst, John Urschel, they have been sensational. In football, it's very clear who and what you're fighting against. You're fighting against the opponent. You're fighting against the person across from you. In mathematics, it's not so clear. When you're trying to solve a problem, you're fighting against the problem. 
are you going to figure this out? Are you going to solve it? Or is this going to remain a mystery? I worked on this for about six months, and I got nowhere. The problem got the best of me. The cool thing about math, it trains your brain about how to think and how to figure out problems you face in the world, even playing sports. In football, when you make decisions, whether you know it or not, you're making these decisions based off math. To see Urschel's two passions combined, look no further than the number he wears on the football field. Well, it's a perfect square, it's a perfect cube. There's a lot of good properties about it. A lot of my mathematician's friends say that that's a true mathematician's number. Everyone always makes me try to choose between football and math, and who says I have to? <laughs>